Hey everybody, welcome back to how to build a yellow aircraft F-16C. Um, here we are, we've got our uh, vertical stab. Um, this is what I started with um, when I got the kit, just because it was something I could do right away. Um, so I have gone a little ahead here. Um, basically it's another block that you have to sand to shape to fit inside there. Um, it's just basically a wedge shape. Um, the end of it is basically just a little bit uh, wider than the diameter of that uh, carbon fiber tube that goes in there. Um, I high sawed it uh, on the fuselage in the uh, mounting bracket. Um, I did already put that um, rear bulkhead in with the mounting bracket and I just made sure that it was uh, straight up and down. Um, and the way I did that, I actually just used a, basically a plumb bob and I hung a paint can from the ceiling and uh, on a string and then just matched up the uh, the tail fin to, to that so I made sure the fuselage was level and everything so that's my cheesy way of how I did that but anyways um, you can see I high sawed the inside there um, I mean, I'm gonna apply a little bit more um, just to make sure it's secure there I didn't get the edges very well so um, the only other step that I've done on this is I've drilled the uh, eighth inch hole there uh, to so that you can uh, tighten the set screw. Um, let me show you how we did that. Okay, so here's basically our mounting bracket for the uh, vertical stab. Um, you can see the set screw right there towards the back. All I did was uh, took some calipers. I measured the height um, from the base there and um, how far away from that trailing edge. Um, then I just matched up. onto the uh, vertical stab there, um, those measurements, and then just drilled a hole. Um, when you push this in and mount, obviously it lines up. Um, not real rocket science, uh, pretty easy actually. And uh, that's actually all the steps that I've completed. So everything going forward now should be brand new to both me and you. So I'll show you the next step. Okay, so our next step is to build the rudder. You can see how it's going to fit on the whole assembly there, but uh, basically the rudder is, consists of these two balsa end pieces and then this pre-cut uh, piece here. All we're going to do is uh, CA that into place. Same for this side. Like that. And now we're just going to cut this to shape and sand it. All right, well, I've already goofed up. Uh, if you can see here, I'm gonna need to glue on a little bit uh, over there because it's not gonna continue the line there. So, oops, my bad. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sand the rest flush here and at least get that right.
Okay, so there we have our completed rudder there, all except for the little uh, goof up right there. But uh, besides that, it looks pretty good. I wanted to show you really quick what I did to uh, fix my little screw up there. Um, I basically cut a notch out of here and then just stuck a piece of scrap balsa in there and then sanded it to shape. So, uh, not really part of the instructions, but uh, just wanted to show you how I fixed that. So, there you have it. Okay, the next step is going to be painful for probably some of you uh, pros out there, but um, I just take it easy um, when I'm sanding the leading edge here, and I'm going to round that off. Um, I tried to use the B1 Bob method of uh, using the plane here, but um, I, I don't know, I just kind of chickened out, I guess. Um, started to do it, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the sandpaper. I was tearing it up on the ends here because the grain is uh, running a different direction than than the rest of the uh, rudder here. So, anyhow, uh, I'll speed up this section so it goes quick. Okay, <clears throat> there you have it. Uh, I know it probably was uh, real painful for you guys to watch that have uh, way easier ways to do that, but uh, if you look, I've got a really symmetrical airfoil shape on uh, both sides, so can't really complain, just need to take a little bit of time to do that. So I imagine you could have probably use the planer here and uh, whipped it out really quick, but uh, I'm just too chicken to do that, so anyways. That's it.